It's Diddy Kano back again to show you how to win and get dividends. Guess what, baby? We got our first low on the low bar, baby. We're about to go out here and get busy. I'm glad you guys are with me. Again, smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. It's time for us to get to these books like we from Milwaukee. Let's go, baby. So, we are picking up a low. It's two items. It weighs 340 pounds. So, it's going to be two pallets all together from my house to the pickup location, to the drop-off location, it is gonna be 91 miles, and we will receive a payment of 150 bucks. If you hate, guess what? So what? Let's go. Just like that, we are here at Allied Plastics. I don't know, I've never been here before, so I don't know what to do. <laughs> it's loud as ever in this job. Ain't nobody in here. Oh, I gotta hit that doorbell right there. Hello. How you doing? I have an order to pick up one of Death planes. Super little, loud out there. It's a little <laughs> Okay. Um, let me send an email to these people. Um, and I, I, I saw two of them, they was going to the same place. I wanted to take both of them, but I didn't know if they both would fit in advance, so I couldn't okay. do it. Which GoPro is that? Uh, GoPro Hero 8. Thank you. Yeah. I was gonna get the new, the 10. I don't know if they had, they may have 11 now, but I was gonna get the 10, but this is so much bigger. I got the... Hero 5 and the 10. The 10, you like it? Yeah. You just record daily stuff or what? Yes, sir. That's what I do every day. I got a YouTube channel. Oh, yeah. It's called Cars and Cribs, so I do deliveries. Twitch. What do you oh, do on there? Well, I used to travel and fish. Uh-huh. Like, I'm, this is the first job I've had in three years. But I've been to five different countries this year. Really? Yeah. I was in Thailand, Singapore, uh, Italy, Spain, and the UK. Which one you like the most? You like all of them for different reasons? Yeah. Thailand was really cheap, and people there were really nice and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, so there are four, so there are four pallets, two supposed to go. Yeah, it's a four pallet total. Two is going to one spot, two is going to the other. And you don't know which one I'm taking? Correct. We are back for the 25th time. I know I'm over exaggerating, it was probably like the third time. But we actually got the BOL now. They sent me the BOL, I had to talk to them on the phone. Okay, I'm back for hopefully the final time. I do have the BOL here. So, but I still don't know which one you're taking. They said it's 340 pounds, which is the same thing you already got. And right. the reference number oh. is... That one. Right there. Right. Oh, this is uh, YouTube. YouTube? Yes, sir. Are you YouTubing us? Yeah. No, it ain't live right now. I edited it and all that. How do you know if it's live? No, it, it, doesn't, it, doesn't, it doesn't do live. It, I recorded it now. I have to put this in sim, the SD card in the computer and I edit it. And you edit it? Yeah. What kind of shit you recording? Uh, oh, cars and Cribs. Yeah. So I do delivery. It's called Cars and Cribs. It's on YouTube, they Cars and Cribs. With really? Yes, sir. The best thing on YouTube. I just saw her. Cars and Cribs. Cars and Cribs. All right, we're checking it out. Yes, sir. I appreciate we're it. We're checking it out. What? All right. Cars so and we're going to have you take the Connecticut one, but let me print out the rest of the, the stuff oh. to make sure because it says it's going to Connecticut, so I'm going to get yeah. the East Coast one. Okay. Finally, my guy about to load me up, baby. What's going on with you, Bob? Uh, another day. Hey, another day, another dollar. Go to your right a little bit. Yeah, keep going. To your right. Okay. Well, at least you get something. You know, some people don't get none. Down that corner, like, huh? <laughs> I see. I'll be a five. I go to the store and I get to look at it. I'm always short. Hey, 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 hey! Especially where everything, how high everything yeah, is out. Sure. Yeah, it costs a living. That pallet extra cooking. That's why when the heat is coming in, it's going like this. It's like this. That's going, like, uh, that's going sideways, baby. <laughs> sideways, like I'll be getting to Vegas. Ah, sideways in that joint, baby. Pallet number two. Get this money. What we about to do? I think I'm about to get this right. These some big pallets too, they ain't small. We're gonna go get that shit so we can ball, not saw. Okay. 
Appreciate you, Bob. Oh, no problem. Yes, sir. You have a good one. <clears throat> and just like that, we loaded up. It's time to get our pockets unfolded up. Let's go. We made it to the drop off. Time to knock these socks off. How you doing, boss? Good. You're welcome. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. My guy about to give me right. get right into it i'm talking about let me <laughs> look i'm gonna tell y'all what happened baby this order was critical i just want y'all to know it was critical but we learned and we went out there and we earned let me tell you guys this we are doing something new you are most likely going to have your worst time the first time you do it baby the first time you usually do something is probably going to be the worst and this one was pretty bad, prime example. So, we get to the pickup location, I go in that joint. First off, it's extremely loud in that joint, super loud. I really can't hear that much. So, I told her I'm here to pick up an order. I told her who I'm picking up the order for. She said, okay. She went in the office for a little while. I'm standing there, dude, ooh, do, 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 Did she come back out, right? She come back out and say, I don't know what's going on. Guess what? We have a huge issue. There are two orders going to the same exact place and they are the same exact items and they both weigh 350 pounds but guess what both of them after they go to the place they're going to they are splitting up and going somewhere else so one is going to connecticut and one is going to some other state baby so we cannot take the wrong one because what if one have more than the other one we don't know but i'm literally sitting there for 45 minutes to get loaded up baby 45 minutes and it wasn't their fault. She emailed the person. They never responded back. She waited 10 minutes. I went back in the office again. I literally went back and forth in the office like four or five times to get out there and get on the ground, baby. Finally, they got everything situated and we got loaded up. So we get loaded up. That's cool. Lock that joint in. Then we hit the road. Uh, we shoot them. We ride them on the beginning. We ride them on the beginning. We had to get some gas because we wanted long gas. Uh, keep on going. Going and going and going. We going and going and flowing. So, we get to the drop-off location, right? We get there, and they have all of this criteria and all this the special stuff you gotta do when you get to the joint. And they told me I, I couldn't really record in there, so it was G14 classified. I might sneak and put something in there, I don't know. But we walk in there, right? I go in there, I gotta wait in line, talk to this guy, shoot shout out to my guy Stan. Shout out to you, Stan. If you're watching this video, shout out to you. He told me how to do everything. He was extra cool. He was like, yeah, go to the kiosk if you know the number. I ain't know nothing about the number because I don't know anything about nothing I'm doing. So, I finally get to the uh, glass. I talk to people like, yeah, I'm here to pick up this order. Boom, 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 boom. They say, what's the order number? Now, I want to tell you guys a learning lesson that I learned. While you are out there doing the low boards and everything, they're going to send you an email for whatever this company does. It sends you an email and lets you know exactly what the pickup location and it also gives you the numbers, the reference numbers. So, when you get there, instead of looking in the app like I was trying to look at, I need to look in the email instead and it's gonna give me everything I need to know. But guess what? It didn't give me everything I need to know because the stuff that I had was wrong information. It was terrible, baby. So I'm talking to the dude, I'm like, yeah, this is the, this, this is the order number. I tell him the order number. He's like, are you sure? Because we had the same issue at the pickup location because I'm taking this from Wisconsin to Illinois, right? But on the paperwork, it says it's going to Connecticut. So he got the paperwork I had and he like, what's going on? He don't know. So he's typing this stuff, boom, boom. It's not coming up. So then he finally get it to work. So then he take him to the kiosk. He's like, yeah, you gotta type your number in and all that stuff. Give him, scan your ID, type this number in, and then boom, it should work. Guess what? It didn't work. So now this is what he had to do. He had to call on the phone, call the people in Connecticut, let them know, hey, we got this order here. It's supposed to be for y'all. 
We don't know the number. They And the, guess what? The numbers were wrong. So they had a different number than we had. They had the same address. They had the same everything. But the numbers did not match. So they couldn't just let me drop this joint off and keep on moving and grooving. So after that, they gave me two labels. I had to put it on the freight. One on here, one on here. Now, after I put the labels on everything, now I have to go back in the building again. I go back in the building, and you have to wait by this door. It's like a gated. It's like all of it is gated, and you cannot get in unless you're an employee. And I'm not an employee. And I had to wear this too. I had to wear this in that joint, baby. So, I had to wait by this gate to this dude open the door. He finally opened the door for me. They said, go by, the, go by your door. My door number was 26. Go by your door and then stand there. So I stand there waiting, like, do, 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 do. Guess what? Nobody said anything, right? So finally, this dude drove past that. Hey, raise the door up. So I raised the door up, boom. Get everything out, right? So, after you get everything out, they actually have to scan the item. They have to scan, scan. Guess what I gotta do after that? After they scan, I gotta go back in the building again. Go back in that joint again and get this paperwork right here. Then I had to send the paperwork to the dispatcher. That is my experience on my first load from a load board, baby. Do I like it? Honestly, the payouts are better than the gig apps. I'm just gonna keep it G-Rivers because the payouts are better than the gig apps, but that joint took a long time, baby. At the first location, we waited 45 minutes. At the second location, I was in there for about 25 to 30 minutes to get in there, baby. Plus, we had to do a drive time of another hour. So, all in all, it probably took us three hours or something like that. But, I do like doing the ones on the low board. I wanna do both the gig apps and the low board, but I do think this, though. I think that the low bore is way slower. Like the process is way slower, baby. It's way slower than the gig apps. The gig apps, you go boom, 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 get the stuff and you go. The low bores are just slower, baby. Everything is a slow process. Like you put your bid in. After you put your bid in, they're going to reach out to you and say, you actually won this load. After you win the load, they're going to say, okay, we're going to see you this paperwork in about 10 minutes. So they're going to say, make sure you just start getting everything situated, getting yourself ready so you can leave out the door, right? So what happened was, they told me they were gonna send the paperwork in 10 minutes. It took them like 25 minutes. And guess what? I had to drive an hour to get to the pickup location. And we were very crunched on time. We was crunched on time because it took them 25 minutes to send the paperwork and we couldn't leave there. We didn't want to just leave. And then what if you don't send the paperwork? Then what are we gonna do? So we literally got there right on time to get on the grind. But all in all, it went well. And my pockets got on swell. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Again, if you're not subscribed, Make sure you smash the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up. And also, lock in tomorrow because it's going back down because we ain't playing around. The 2023 is big bag season. We'll keep on giving a reason. I'll see you guys on the next one. We're going, we're going, we're flowing. You already know it, DDK. And I'm on my way.